organization for allowing me the opportunity to explain part of my work. I'm Carlos Martinez Almoina, I work at Victoria University of Wellington. Um, by the way, ah, yeah. So what I'm gonna be talking today about, I'm gonna be explaining a project that we developed um, at the university, focusing especially in the planting design. Um, and also I'm gonna be presenting um, I'm going to be basically presenting a project of a research project in order to find potential synergies with some of you. Is this project, this research project is still um, on the process of gathering data, so it's, it's it just even, it hasn't even started. So what do I do? Um, I moved five years and a half ago uh, from Spain. I used to practice before uh, teaching. Um, so I have um, always, uh, uh, I've been really interested about developing an approach uh, to, to academia that finds, trying to find links with the social political context, with the professional environment. Um, and uh, how I try to do that is by linking my teaching and my research uh, through partnerships. And, and yeah, I've been developing this since, since I arrived here. The idea is, is to develop action research, so um, keep on working in a method that keeps on adapting and evolving. And as you can see here, the three different type of blues show the evolution over time of the partnerships that I had, um, I have been developing during these five years and a half. Firstly, I approach, um, let's say, through the standard way, really complex projects, big, large communities, uh, and up to concept design stage and up to the length of the courses finishing with an exhibition, everyone really happy, but no, nothing was really happening for those communities. So I thought that I needed to shift towards thinking how could we produce, even that there was a small change in those physical environment of those communities. So uh, I targeted more cohesive community groups, smaller projects, expanding the, the partnerships and focusing into construction. Afterwards, I realized that this, there was this, a massive opportunity to develop research from these projects and assess the impact of those projects in order to retrofit um, the, the methodology. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the project that we developed together with Wellington City Council. Uh, Wellington City Council wanted to develop a project on Lower Torrey Street, which was severely um, affected by the Calcora earthquake. Some buildings were demolished, uh, the street was closed. So uh, they wanted to develop a, a run a participatory project with, with local stakeholders. We had a series of workshops with uh, local businesses, residents, the public, uh, quite successful. We um, presented, I think it was 10 different concepts. Uh, those were exhibited physically and online, public voted for their favorite design. And that the winning one uh, was developed by myself and a team of seven students that volunteered and we developed the design down to, construct, to construction documentation and the project was implemented by the council, um, supervised also by, by us. Uh, the, the, the temporary project was removed um, after four months, three months, and uh, the, the design elements were donated to different associations in Newtown and resided to different locations. And I've been developing research around the use of public space during the past year and now I'm presenting this other parallel research related to the planting design. So really quickly, the, the projects, um, basically we, we aim for reclaiming as much space as possible for pedestrians. Uh, we extended the sidewalks, uh, we reduced traffic to just one, one way, or one lane, with, through the chicane also slowing the, slowing the, um, the speed and the elements that gave continuity to the design were the paint and the planter boxes. And on the, and the central area of the three areas that we created um, was thought as a flexible space to be colonized by, by uh, people and used. And that's where I've been developing um, the research of use of public space. Um, yeah, the project was, in terms of public use, it was quite successful and I hope it to have the, the, the findings and publish report and some article by the start of next year. So the planting design uh, was thought as an opportunity to, to foster education of New Zealand native flora. Uh, we, because part of the concept of the design was the idea of 
of honoring the past of the site. The, the Maori Pa that was on the end, bottom of Taranaki, um, the shoreline, the old shoreline that was here before the 19th century earthquakes. So we thought that was um, a good approach to think about this idea of the transect between coast to inland and try to use um, that as the driver of the planting design. So we had 33 planter boxes that were distributed along the, the street and that ranged from, from coastline, from coast to, to inland and, um, and mixed um, in the center around the platforms. Um, the participation was also part of the planting design. Uh, a lot of people collaborated with the project. We went to Otari, uh, to Wilton's Bush, to collect plants, to pot them. They were there for around three months in their nursery. Then we brought those plants to, to Berhampur Nursery, where we assembled all the planter boxes. And, and yeah, there was a, a huge amount of people involved in the process. Um, this plant selection, basically we followed uh, two criteria, the structural approach and also the biological approach. So let's say uh, plants that were able to cope with a, with a heavily disturbed context, so low-lying, low-maintenance, adapted to dry and, and windy environments, and suitable on shallow depths of soil. Also, we, we pursued uh, rare and endangered species, even that I would really like to have presented many more uh, red uh, colors and red um, plants over there. Uh, and I think that planting design should be in urban environments an opportunity for us to, to keep biodiversity and enhance biodiversity. So I think that's one of the findings that, that yeah, I, we should have pursued more really in danger. But at, at least we have uh, like 20% of them. So uh, we had, yeah, as I explained, 33 planter boxes. We had two types, seed, no seed. And within those planter boxes, which had, I don't have a pointer, but were... They were, they, the, the boundaries were not even, so we ha some of the sides of the, of the boundaries were higher than, than others. So we, that facilitated for us to create these micro topographies. The idea was to, to create these kind of micro, micro landscapes as an abstraction of, of New Zealand, different New Zealand landscapes. And, and yeah, we had these three, six different typologies of micro topographies that created these kind of a small and tiny change, environmental changes uh, that that um, we use for the planting. We built everything uh, with the spirit of reducing the cost as much as possible with the standard plywood panels. So they measured 120 by 120, so half of a, the size of a panel. Um, on the top of these micro topographies, we wanted to experiment with intermingle, in, intermingle planting layouts. So the idea was to, to scatter and blend the plants into one another as much as possible and create these smaller scale mosaics linked to these micro topographies that I was talking about before. The idea was to don't, uh, well, the idea, no, basically it was no management. Uh, I just been there like six to 12 weeks just to check how things were going. Um, at the beginning, removing weeds, now celebrating weeds. Their beginning, um, annoying myself because plants were dying and, and others were growing. Now I'm really <laughs> celebrating that. So yeah, it's been a process over time. I've been taking photos every, every time. And so I saw from the beginning the project as an opportunity for developing research. So my idea was to, to have these 24 months, two years of gathering data and then develop this. These 24 months are gonna be in March next year over. So the project is ready to start. So my idea is to use it as a case study for developing a methodology of assessment of planting designs as a way also of, of uh, develop knowledge of performance and interaction of plants over time. And as a way to explore useful knowledge for facilitating implementation of green roofs, like um, considering time as a factor for design and management. In that sense, uh, this approach uh, of thinking planting design uh, in relation to management, it's really relevant for green roofs because, yeah, there's a really low implementation rate, in, especially in New Zealand, compared to other countries. And so it's essential to, from our discipline to explore ways that maintenance can be reduced to the minimum. So, uh, and how, in that sense, we need to think how plants perform and interact as a key design factor. Um, so the idea is to, to assess, uh, use the 45 species that we, we have even our, as a case study for developing 
further research of all New Zealand native plants suitable for green roofs and planter boxes. Dividing the research into categories and subcategories, so time, uh, um, space, performance, and sociality would be gathered from direct observations from the photographs, environmental conditions from the meteorological data, and a character from existing literature about, about the different species. Um, adapting a methodology that I've been using parametrics that I've, I'm, we've been using for the analysis of public space. Here you have a little bit of, of the things that we've been doing. So the idea is to parameterize the, the data uh, independently. So that allows uh, establishing certain scenarios to edit, filter, and interrelate that data and generate a specific data and graphic information. And especially facilitates reflection and findings uh, in this case around performance and interaction of plants. So um, my, the ending goal of this research project is to produce applicable knowledge, useful for all of us, from practitioners, students, academics, builders, and general public, around um, knowledge of New Zealand native plants, assessment of planting designs, and as, a, as part of an interdisciplinary research around design, construction, and management of green roofs. So if some of you is interested about expanding, collaborating, uh, developing this research project, please contact me. Here you have my email. Thank you. <laughs>